Okay, so I did a quick sketch. Uh, I'm gonna start out by just actually, um, I got some French uh, ultramarine blue, and I got some, uh, I got some French ultramarine blue, and I got some dirty purple on my palette, and I got a little bit of phthalo blue in here. So I'm actually just gonna make a little bit of all three mixed together here, and make a nice sort of uh, sky blue kind of color. That's pretty, I love blue, love, 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 okay. And hopefully the purple sort of flavor that for a second. Uh, I'm gonna clean this brush and wet my um, wet my sky. I'm gonna start with the sky up here. So I've done a quick drawing. I sourced this painting from um, Goodwill. Actually, one of the customers here at the Loaded Brush brought it in. Jenny Taylor, thank you. I think Jenny. Yeah, but anyway, someone brought it in from Goodwill. I think I'm gonna use it to send to my sister and put a monster on it or something like that. I'll, anyway, I'll take a picture of it. And, um, I'll take a picture of it and I will uh, include it in the video here with this. Anyway, I'm just gonna start with the sky. I'm probably gonna, I probably will take a few breaks while some of the stuff simmers and I'm also trying to get ready for class. So there's sort of a few things going on. But I am gonna, um, Try and just kind of weasel my little edge there and pre-wet this. I'm gonna do some wet and wet real quick and get the sky done. Okay, looking good. Um, I've been using the uh, this brush, whatever it's called, flat but with an angle. Uh, this is all pretty good. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let it be a little chill down here. I think I'm gonna put a little pink in down there. Um, and up in the top here, we go with the blue. I'm gonna use that, um, use a filbert brush for this. And I think I really wanna let it try and travel. So I'm gonna kind of just um, have a, you know, kind of a watery edge up here with this. I mean, this this pin is super punchy. This is the Quar by Golden. Um, I want the corners to be a little heavier, so I'm just gonna kind of start over there and uh, put a little across the top here. And I think that's probably about it. I'm just gonna kind of let that travel in. Um, and then I'm going to uh, grab a little bit of pink here. I kind of got something I can see on the, on the palette right there. If I can just get a little teensy bit of this guy, just that little bit of, well, maybe. Yeah, 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 that's nice. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of tap it in just right under here near the bottom of the mountain so that uh, it kind of, it kind of, will travel up and flavor us out. I think I'm gonna add a little water to that just to kind of spread it around a little bit. So this is just this is just plain water. And I'm gonna start kind of at the strongest point. I'm just gonna kind of pull it out and take the um, take the flavor with me. So I'm just kind of pulling pink out into the sky a little bit. There you go. There you go. So nice. I'm gonna kind of have it a little bit extra on the right side, something like that. And uh, hopefully that blue is gonna keep moving. I might throw a little water in on that as well, just to kind of like encourage it down. Uh, so I'm gonna, yeah, do that. I think I'm just gonna grab a little water here. I'm gonna start up here and just kind of pull it in a little bit more. Just kind of soften it at the edges towards the pink. And that'll keep moving. I'm actually gonna pause for a second and just kind of let that dry. Um, a little bit more in the middle, I think, here. There we go. And I'm just, yeah, gonna let this dry. And, um, so probably stop the video here for a second and then I'll come back to it. So I'm gonna put a little extra dark kind of in the corners there. There. I'm getting into here. Okay, here we go. Nice little bit of purple where those two meet. And I think couple big streaks through there. Beautiful. And there's not really any clouds in this, but over here it's a little bit strong. So I'm just gonna kinda like take my, take my uh, napkin and just kind of pull a little bit of that off. I don't even really want to like take much. I just want to kind of pull the extra strong off and just create a little bit of a suggestion of clouds there. Um, I think I want to do the same thing just here, just a teeny bit. I'm gonna sort of try to make a flat surface and just kind of like, ooh, that's nice. Okay, I'm gonna leave it just like that. Do one of those over here, maybe a longer one. And then here we go, we're going on break. See you in a few minutes. Alrighty, back. 
Um, all right, here's what I'm throwing in here. Uh, I think I'm going for a little bit of reflection down here. Um, I sort of have blocked out where the mountain reflection is going to be. I'm also going to have a band of sort of like it's a little bit of a different texture of water. Um, letting that dry a little bit still, but it looks pretty cool, so I'm chilling. And um, I think what I'm looking at in that picture is basically like phthalo blue and some uh, pins spray mixed together. So I actually kind of have that happily nearby on my plate. So uh, this paint's great. So I'm gonna just sort of like mix up some, uh, I don't want this super intense. Uh, I'm gonna go like medium, sort of like that. And then I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this uh, old thalo, thalo here. And a lot of time, like that might be thalo and a little French ultramarine. I mean, you know what I'm saying, Hakuna Matata. Um, and then I'm gonna like kind of mix that in. And uh, I mean, that's looking kind of good. You know, I want just kind of like grayish looking water. Um, I'm gonna try that and see what happens. And I can always like intensify it a little or de-intensify it a little. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna like kind of scoot a little bit in. There's sort of this horizon line right here. Is this recording? Great. Okay, there's sort of this horizon line right here. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm actually gonna use a slightly smaller brush. Um, this one, the smaller angle one. Get it wet so it's nice and kind of pointy-ish. Um, let's go ahead and grab some of this guy. You can get a little glimpse of my organization system here and all this like yes. glory. Um, so then what I want to do, I sort of am going to be leaving white through here just to kind of like leave that mountain in there. And the trees are going to kind of creep down into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of start at the edges with a little bit extra dark and kind of pull in towards the middle and off the canvas or uh, paper. And then I'm gonna kind of do the same thing on this side, in and off, off just a little bit, just so there's a little bit of that streaky texture coming through there. That's that's beautiful right there. Um, and that's pretty good. But I actually would like that to be getting a little darker on the way. So I'm gonna grab a little more thalo blue over here on the palette, a little more uh, paints gray, and sort of just like deepen it up a little bit, deepy deepy. And then I'm gonna just kind of put it in at the edges here, and it's gonna just kind of bleed over towards the middle, hopefully. Um, there's a little bit of the same as wet and wet, except, you know, the first wet is my, um, the first wet is my, uh, what's that streak in the beginning? I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about, actually. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna kind of pull that so it's a little more, like, even, put a little bit of streaky in it with some, just water on my brush. Just kind of give it some love. I don't really know why I'm doing this, except I want to. Okay, great. Um, so in the picture I'm looking at, there's sort of a little jump before the like reflections. This is gonna be all trees, this is gonna be all trees, there's gonna be a little jump in the reflections. So the reflections are gonna kinda be on the flip of that. Here's the reflection of the mountain. So I'm just gonna fill in all this and all this with this this color for the moment and kind of see what it's looking like. Leaving a little space um, for those tree reflections and for the mountain reflection. And then I think I'm just gonna sort of pull in some ripples into that and I'll show you how I do that. So I'm gonna get this like darker medium color, the one I was just using, and here I go. I'm just gonna start laying it in all up here, um, in all its uh, in all its glory. And I actually wouldn't mind if it's a little darker at the bottom. So I'm sort of gonna start down here, actually. Um, hmm, do I want to paint upside down? Yes. No. No, I don't. Um, so I'm gonna start down there, and I'm gonna go back up to that bigger brush just so I can really get some shit done. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a bunch of that paint. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just gonna let it kind of creep up towards there. Kind of thinking about the shape of the mountain a little bit. Um, I'm just going back for water actually, and I'm gonna kind of like tweak these edges with just some water on my brush. Um, the mountain's gonna be real loose in the reflection, so it doesn't have to be perfect at all. Uh, I've always thought about, you know, water. Think about it like they, it's level, you know? So um, water's always level. They use it to level stuff. So uh, a lot of the time, um, what I'll do, is I'll keep my brush strokes straight left to right when I'm doing water. That way I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, be the water, be the water. And then I'm gonna want a little bit of this just kind of tweaking in on that. And I'm gonna actually lay some little funny shadows in here and stuff too. They're like little indications of the uh, the mountain shadows that are gonna be. And I'm really just getting it started. This is a cool trick I learned off YouTube actually. If you kind of flay, um, if you kind of flay the bristles, kind of push into it, and it makes a bit of a weird right angle thing, but it does, makes these little like, makes these little like, uh, you know, a comb out of it or something. So what you can do then is you can sort of just like take take that and kind of like pull in and make make little watermarks. 
You need a little paint on your brush, of course, which is what I'm missing at this point. But I am going to do a few of those. I'm just going to make a nice little comb out of it, so zing. And um, I'm going to pull some in kind of over a lot of it, just a few here and a few there. There we go, nice. Just some little backs and forths with the comb. I'm probably going to pull back through this with my towel and, and like re re remove a little of that, but that's actually not a bad start. Didn't have any paper towels, of course. So I'm gonna um, bring this back over and just press back into the middle. A little bit of that's gonna come back out, not all of it, but that's fine. I actually, um, I'm a believer that the, uh, the reflection's gonna be a little like more muted than the actual mountain anyway. So just that little bit of fog we already have going on there is like really nice. And then I'm gonna grab a little more of this. And I'm gonna like deepen this water actually a little bit. I'm just gonna start adding in and kind of like let it have bits of lighter and darker, but I'm, I'm more or less still staying the left to right. If I get to the edge of the mountain, just like in and off the canvas, or out and off the canvas, or, you know, so I sort of lift off the, right where I want it to, to leave. It takes a little bit of getting used to and practice and stuff, but it's, it's not too bad. And then actually, I haven't really been watching my source photo, but um, this is gonna come out to like here, and I'm just kind of like adjusting it on the fly, and then I'll kind of bring it all back together with some left to right. And um, I think uh, we'll, Pretty cool with that here. So, just gonna tickle the brush along just to give it a little bit of a fine edge. Water actually is like a mirror, you know, so it's got a nice clean reflection, sort of. Ooh, likey, likey. All right, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of the, a little bit of the comb move out here. Just kinda pull off into that a little bit, great. And I'm still gonna add just a wee bit to a little dark in there, to tell you the truth. I'm gonna make a little bit of that new thalo. Um, I keep kind of running out over here, but, uh, you know, it's best to be prepared. That's um, Sam Arneson, who like, kind of reinvigorated my little watercolor spirit here recently. Uh, was, you know, he's like a big, like, get everything ready before you start. I think that's great if you can, if you can remember that stuff and keep it going. Um, it's hard to, have to keep remixing colors and have them like be the right color and stuff like that. So a lot of the time, I would definitely recommend sort of preparing your palette, being cleaner than I am uh, demonstrating here, but I'm really trying to figure out this video thing too. So uh, I just want a little bit of change in there. So I put a little more deep flavor up top there and I'm even gonna put a, a teeny bit more up there with this, you know, just gonna leave it up there with some water and stuff. And it'll just trickle down as this page is drying and kind of all, flatten itself out and even out like it did in the sky. Um, boy, it's a pretty color, isn't it? All right, dude, so I'm gonna jump back in. I'm gonna do a little bit of the shading on the mountain. Uh, the sky is dry now, or like 90%, so if anything touches it, it's not gonna bleed out, hopefully. If it does, I'll uh, panic and do something dramatic, probably, um, like scream. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, so uh, it's really a gray. I think I'm just gonna use some Payne's gray up in here. I might have a, a dabble do of like the blue in it, but I really like the just the Payne's gray. It's gonna be mostly water. I'm gonna start really light on this. I wanna kind of build up into the mountain. So just a lot of water with just a little bit of Payne's gray dipped in there. And i um, gonna just kinda, kinda have traced this out already. So I'm just gonna kinda follow what I had going on and look up every once in a while at the source to make sure I'm not, um, I'm not uh, forgetting or missing something or freaking out. If a little bits of white kind of accidentally stay there, I'm using this brush now. Um, I don't know what this one's called, the spear brush or something, the pointy brush. Um, but it is nice because um, it fits into little tight spaces and then if you kind of just press a little harder with it, it it'll let you have a, a, a little more uh, a little more go. So it kind of gets exciting. And, travel over some stuff so you can see I'm just laying in on that in that whole little area I have blocked out I'm laying in little shadows um, mountains are funny uh, you know I'm really kind of just going by the uh, going by the formula on this one with the uh, looking up at the picture and following what's going on um, but in class we kind of teach a couple mountains paintings and you know a lot of what's going on with mountains is it just has these little dips and valleys and uh, peaks you know tons of them so 
uh, but they all kind of go with the general trend, you know, they're all like kind of all going towards the top, but lots of little ups and downs. So all these little white spaces in between are nice. They actually let us have um, little fields of snow and little fields of weirdness. And I'm probably gonna deepen this as I go, but in the beginning here, I really just wanna take and kind of map it out. So with this light color, if I end up not really loving something, I'm not super committed to it. As long as the rest of it, I'm kind of increasing the value as I go. So I'm gonna kind of just kick some of this here and here and leave that most of that big space empty. Leave a lot of the top kind of empty. Um, let's see here. Actually would like a little bit of this right there and a little bit of this in here. Kind of just do a couple little spots in this for funsies. Can break that up. Okay, great. Great! And I'm gonna, like, I love how that sort of has all that motion. So I'm just gonna kind of be like, oh, whoops, 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 I don't even know, I'm not even looking anymore. Just a few little breakups there. Um, and I'm gonna do a few of those in here as well. Just a couple little spots, and I'm gonna kind of shade through the bottom of this again. Now a lot of time too, as I'm kind of painting the tree up over this, I'll be able to, um, you know, I'll be able to redefine the edge of this with trees in a second here. And as I go a little deeper with some of the um, mountain parts, um, these white parts are going to kind of just become the beautiful, like, woo, the beautiful peaks, you know. So, um, I'll probably just do a little outline on it because I like outlines. You know, it's one of those things that I love them or hate them. I don't know. You know, I just think they're kind of fun. So, um, a lot of time that'll just help hold the white and it's like extra whiteness. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna let that chill for a second. That's good. Hopefully that'll kind of just lighten a little bit. I might even just hit it with a paper towel real quick to kind of pull back a little bit on it. I've never done this one before either. Uh, I've never done this one before either. So, you know, if I were doing it again, I might do things a little bit differently. I think that's kind of always the case. You know, painting, that's just the way it is. If I, when I would paint again, I would, I would do things differently. I would sort of like a, put a little lighter color here. Or, you know, you almost always learn stuff as you're going, even when you've been doing it for a really long time. Every picture's different. So, um, this is the first time I've done this one. I'm just kind of rolling with it and seeing where it goes. Um, that's kind of cool looking. You know, sometimes while you're working on them too, you're like, I don't know if I like that. So all that's normal. What's important is that you just sort of keep plugging, sing through the song, and then at the end of the song, uh, sing another song. So I'm gonna let this dry for a second. This actually has gotten a pretty good chill, and this is pretty good. I think in just a second here, I can start coming in with my greens and sort of define um, the line of trees right here and the reflection of the line of trees. And I'll start putting a little more fun stuff into the, um, uh, actually, I can do a little bit of that now. I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. Uh, a little more of the fun stuff into the um, mountain shadow. You know, like this is gonna sort of be the uh, reflection of that. And uh, we're gonna have kind of a nice section of dark that kind of is just like, oh, what are you doing there? Yeah, I like you. A little bit here, bam. Um, a little bit on here, sort of that guy's up the other side. And yeah, just a little bit squirrely whirly. There we go. And then I'm just gonna take a little water and just kind of, oh, whoops, 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 I don't know, spread it around a little by accident. There we go, leave it there for a while. Alrighty, so while that's uh, rocking, I'm gonna put in just a little bit of this pink that's in the reflection in the, um, in the water. I got a couple more little baby steps with this water, but among them, I wanna just let a little bit of pink work down into that. So I'm gonna kind of give it a little bit of wet, wet, wet. You know, sort of a little ripple of wet going back and forth this too. Just do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. And that's also gonna help the water texture because water, again, wants to have these like long strokes that go back and forth, kind of pull us back and forth. Um, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a really nice mellow version of that pink we were using earlier, something that's got a lot of water in it. Um, and then I'm just gonna like tap it into the, the wet there and it'll just sort of travel in and take it all up. So there we go, just a little bit there. There we go, beautiful. And I'm not reinventing the wet, I'm just like kind of flavoring it now. And it'll also be a little bit see-through, like it'll sort of um, 
turn a little purple because the blue is visible through it. But um, but that's fine. That's great. You know, so what I want is just, you know, our eyes will make everything work right. Our eyes are what's magical. Our brains are what's magical. The paint just does what our brains already know how to do. So we're basically telling it, um, hey, check out, uh, you know, I'm, I go with you. Or something. I don't know. I don't know what the F I'm talking about. But Anyway, I want that to just kind of spread out. I might take the little point of this guy and kind of just like oh, a little wiggle into these empty spaces, but I don't really want to like fill them in. I just want to season them with a little bit of pink. And I want to kind of take it from these stronger, strongest areas because I want it to be pretty mellow. And I'm just going to let it kind of... And now it's just going to bleed its way into that whole area and let, let that dry for another second or two. And then I'm going to come in with some greens. Some sweet greens. So, I think what I'm going to get is I'm going to get some, um, something that's like a viridian green, it's sort of a bluish green, We've got kind of a tealy look to it, and I'm going to put with it some of this uh, Hansen yellow, I think, whatever this is, this brightest yellow that I can find in my little kit. So hopefully it's like sort of the sunshine yellow, that's what I'd like to see here. I'm just going to do a tiny bit, oh yeah, that's nice. Um, you probably can't even see anything, you're just listening to me talk and what ifs. And I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna have to put a little black in this as well, or Payne's Gray rather, because, um, because it's uh, gonna be pretty vibrant. Um, this is these two, this is bright yellow and the brilliant green. And uh, I'm just gonna kinda make a nice like light version of that. I, I should be doing this on camera, but I'm so uh, disorganized over here, I can't. So, um, I'm just stirring those three together. The yellow and green make a real nice um, sort of forest green, and then the Payne's Gray just adds like a, a bit of um, shade to it, so it becomes a little more sort of like an army-ish green when that Payne's Gray enters the equation. And um, and that's, that's probably perfect. So, I'm just gonna kind of start with some of this, and it's probably, it looks like yellow sort of hemorrhaging into it, so it's probably gonna get a little brighter as I go along. Um, I might as well just kind of do this with a bigger brush and get it in there. All right, load up on it here. Um, there we go, something like that. And I'm just gonna kind of, um, I'm just gonna kind of start by wiggling that in here. And what I want to really want to do is kind of like um, play with the little peaks and valleys of that shape. So I want to kind of have some little tree tops that kind of peek up above it there. And um, this is gonna, I think that brush is a tiny bit too big. I'm gonna use that smaller one. This, this is, uh, these are all little like trees there. So maybe I'm even gonna just kind of touch my way across and have little, little peaks there. And then I'll kind of shade underneath them so they kind of like form a tree, a tree line. Um, and I'm just gonna fill in here while it's still wet. Uh, I actually had over here where there was a bit of like, you know, wet and wet, and uh, sometimes that results in leaking of color and stuff like that. So uh, do your best, you know, to kind of finish a section while your paint is all still wet and then kind of jump, jump through. So I'm gonna keep just dribbling across this thing and do that same thing. I'm just gonna kind of like let there be a few little ups and downs as I'm going across. I'm not too worried about getting it all properly filled in. And being random is like kind of tricky, you know? It's Being random is funny. Um, to be random, you want to just almost close your eyes and go for it. If you pay attention, you end up being like line, space, line, space, line, space, line. I'm sure I did a little bit of that. I always do. Um, but I do my best to not do that. And I'm just going to kind of bring it right down to the beginning of that. And like I said, there's a little bit of change in texture and water, but this... The reflection of this is going to be right through this white space here, and I think I've got enough color that I'll probably make it, I'll probably make it a tiny bit darker for the bottom, but I'm just going to kind of like, pay attention to what I'm doing, I guess. I'm always like, pay attention to the pant leg you're putting on. I don't even know what that means, but you know what I'm saying. So, okay, that's looking pretty good. That's a good start. You know, at least we got a, a sense of the shape and stuff like that. Um, it's light, so I'm going to come back in in a minute and add some like dimension to it with some some more darks, but uh, I think I'm gonna let it dry and just be that for a minute. On the other hand, I'm definitely gonna add some dark to this right now. 
This is going to be for the water side. Um, and actually, I'm going to make a little new tile here of this color. And I'm going to um, just add a, a, a little bit of that blue black I got going on. So, this is going to be a little bluer, a little, little grayer. Not blue black, but blue and paints gray. I keep calling paints gray black. Forgive me. All right, so um, it's going to kind of run right up to where that dimension sort of changes. So, I'm going to kind of like, I'm going to have a little extra space, but basically, going to be right about there. And then I'm just going to kind of like pull little trees up through that, that whole bit that I'm just going to be here. There we go, nice. And you see it's a little darker, that's what I was going for, just a little bit of extra shade in it. And I'm um, going to kind of define that tree top edge a little bit, but not too much because this is reflection and just let it do its thing. There we go. On this side, there's not even a whole lot. It's mostly just some like little tree tops there. So I'm just gonna kind of start that there. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna kind of pull through everything like this. That red is still a little wet, so try not to touch it. But water is all one thing. So if the red kind of mingles in, I'm just gonna let that be its story. Yep. There we go. And I'm going to kind of peek these again, just a little bit of extra here. Kind of paint it in. There we go. And I think I might as well just kind of carry that right up to where that blue starts. Maybe just a little razor white, but I'm going to just kind of let a little bit of that extra. There we go. There's little bits of white that kind of peek through. They're helpful, actually. And there we go. Why not? Just a little tree so that we kind of see going all the way. And we're still getting different light. I'm going to see if I can cut these windows and see what's going on. And I like water too. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to go a little deeper yet. I'm going to add a little more flavor in at the two edges of that green and I'm just going to let it bleed in. So I'm just over here stirring a little more paints gray, stirring a little more green, stirring a little more yellow. It's making, a, you know, I'm just basically a more potent version of the same color. Um, that paints gray is really what keeps it sort of like the bluish. And I'm stirring just a little bit down with that, that um, blue black we were talking about earlier. It's kind of made it, there we go, that's nice. So I'm just going to put it a little bit out here and kind of just trickle it in and do just a few little, you know, across here is great, across here is, is real nice. This will kind of bleed out to here even, and a little bit along the insides here. There we go, this is great. I'm gonna put the, ooh, that's great. I'm just going to let that simmer for a few minutes and kind of all, all mingle together and become frenzies. And then when this is dry, I'm going to come back and put some like kind of cleaner trees through it. Alrighty, um, so here we go. I'm gonna jump back into the treesies, the trees. Um, I'm gonna do my best with this. I'm gonna show you my palette right now. It's kind of a mess, but this is what I was using yesterday. I'm just gonna try and improvise and put it together. Uh, I'm gonna take some of this green I was using yesterday. I'm not gonna make it super, super darker. I'm just gonna start to kind of layer it on top of itself, but I am going to make it a wee, a wee bit darker by adding a little more of this um, paint gray, and then I'll just, you know grab a little yellow again and grab a little green again. I think that's green. And I'll just kind of ooh yeah, see it's a little richer now. It's still got that pine flavor, so I'm gonna kind of work off that for a minute. And um, I think what I'm gonna be doing here, I'm gonna give it a little test there. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Um, See how my brush got effed up during the middle of the night? I'll show you. That is what it's doing right now. So maybe I'll try and scrub that straight and see if it, see if water and a little love put it back together. Um, not really. Anyway, here I go. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort of start putting a second layer of shadows in here, and I'm gonna kind of work within these like little, little, you know, like that, sort of these little end shapes. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of run them up the hill there. And as we get out here, I'm gonna really let it kind of like layer in a little more. There we go. And uh, so I'm just gonna let some of the some of the light peek through while I'm doing this, and just kind of like scrubbing in. Daniel Johnston. Um, I, don't, I don't actually think that's quite dark enough. I'm gonna add a little more flav. So and I'm not, while it's still wet, you know, I can just kind of like tap it in there, and we're gonna we're gonna be fine with that. I would really like it out here at the edge. So as we're uh, as we're painting, I'm gonna really emphasize the dark out here in the corner, and I'm gonna really make the other side heavy dark. So that's pretty good. I got some lighter patches, some mediums, some darks out there, um, and then I'm just gonna lay on the heavy darks, darky darks over here, and I probably will get a little more green on my palette. Although yellow and black make a pretty interesting green, so maybe I'm, I'm working it over here and I think it's going to be fine. Um, but this whole side really is just going to be like pow. Uh, start with a lot of flav. And I'm still going to kind of like let there be a couple, you know, at the top here. I want these little triangles that are just like, oh, we're trees. We're trees out here. We're trees. So, and then underneath, you know, just flavor. Just flavor. This is interesting, it's fun, it's like thinking out loud a little bit. And, you know, part of what I'm doing is just making the whole area wet that I want to paint right now. And part of what I'm doing is sort of like, um, working out, working out a little more, um, color in there. Just, you know, a little more of this green and a little more active. I'm gonna come back into the mountain in just a minute here, but first we're gonna really, I'm adding a little more dark into that. And I'm gonna just kind of put it in out here at the edge. And this nice little same kind of thing I was doing on the other side, just kind of like, ooh, whoops, 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 you know? Let it, let it do the, what, it, what it wants to. Watercolor kind of wants to like travel around and stuff, so let it have lighter and darker areas. And, Trees do that anyway, you know, there's just patches where the light hits it and it's a little deeper and there's these, gonna be, always be these patches where, um, you know, it almost looks like it's all just black. Um, even though it's all made up of branches and, I mean, the million parts of a tree and I, you know, I haven't, I'm not doing any of that, I'm just doing this stuff, this action. Cool. Well, that's pretty fun. Um, I'm gonna add a little blue back into it, just, and I'm gonna mix it with some of that paint gray and sort of like water it down a teensy bit, but um, blue it up a little bit, teal it up a little bit, I guess. And then I'm gonna put a little more of that into here too. Just So this is a little different color, but um, you know, it's a cousin, first cousin. It's got mostly this flavor with just a little bit of something else. Darker, bluer, I mean, I, I kinda, I do different stuff all the time. I'm gonna put a little, little stripe or two up into the little reflective stripes. And then um, I'm just gonna paint these. I, I was showing you the trick yesterday. I was having a hard time making it work, but I'll try that again maybe. Just a few little, just a few little lasers of that. Get a little more on my brush. Oh, those are nice. Okay. Those are nice. You know, the hard part for me is always getting it right at like the edge where it's sort of like. I either make a hard mark. I want to kind of feather it in or feather it off the canvas. All right, so I'm just going to let that be that for the moment. 
and um, some kind of little thing in my painting here. I'm gonna take that off, or just move it around. There it goes. And I'm gonna fuck with the mountain a little more now, and I think I'm just gonna go back to the old, good old Payne's Gray. I don't wanna add too much to the mountain that isn't there, you know? Um, I could probably let a little paint get into the mountain if I wanted to, or just like, the mountains are always gonna be sort of a reflection of the, a reflection of the world. Um, above it, you know, white reflects. So white's gonna reflect the sky and stuff like that. So I think what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put a little of this like sort of deeper pan gray just sort of into the top sides. And then I'm just gonna add a teeny bit of water to my brush. And I'm gonna kind of like pull that out a little bit. So it's maybe strongest where I kind of like put it in at first and then it kind of, and I'm being really careful here not to kind of touch the green. If I hit that, you know, you're always playing that weird game with watercolors where you don't want things to bleed together unless you want things to bleed together. So, um, like right here, I just put some water on there. If I just sort of touch that boundary, all this dark will start like kind of bleeding in between there. And in that case, I think that's beautiful. It's gonna work out great. But sometimes that happens, like if that happens right here, it's gonna be green and gray. And I'm not gonna really, not super feeling that. Um, so, just do your best, of course. And with watercolor, a lot of happy accents. You gotta just kinda like keep rocking through and let what happens happen. And uh, you know, when you come back, when you come back and do it again, you try to not make those same mistakes. But um, in the meantime, sometimes they turn into really beautiful things that you, you almost couldn't have done on purpose. So, so I'm sort of looking up at the, I got my little source photo. And again, I'll just kind of include a little picture of the source photo, but, um, for the most part, I'm just kind of doing my best to hold on to that source photo's like shapes of the shadow and stuff, which are a little odd. They're just weird shapes. You know, this is like a shoe or something. Um, one cool trick I learned with watercolor, like if it's a little dark for me, what you can do is you can take your brush and kind of work it all the paint out of it. It's called mopping, I think is what they said. And um, put that dry brush into the area. And what it'll do is it'll kind of like pull up the dampest paint and kind of just like a little bit of the flavor out of it and just kind of mute it a teeny bit. Also, watercolors are going to continue to, um, watercolors are going to continue to like lighten up as they dry. They just, that's what they do. So, you can always, um, count on it getting a little bit lighter as it dries. Mounds are tricky business. Um, you know, they're just subtle. So a lot of what mountains are is these little teeny changes between light gray and dark gray and white. And um, that's an interesting land to kind of like play around with, 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 the, um, with painting, because, you know, you're making marks that are all in this range that's super small. So, ooh, that was bad. Not really, but um, I got a little green into my mountain. And actually, as I look at the picture, I think I do want to scoot a little green into that. Of course, just like yesterday, um, I did not have any paper towels ready. But um, I think there's a little bit of, you know, some trees gonna grow up this mountain a teeny bit. I'm just gonna kinda, kinda scoot them around. So I think I can probably get away with that little move. But that's a perfect example of where a little green accident just got in the mountain. And, um, you know, I, in class, I'm always like, you know, definitely, definitely panic. Like, that's always the first thing I do. And then once I'm done panicking, I'm like, okay, now, uh, Hakuna Matata, you know, like, I'm just gonna keep going forward. Move forward into the painting. Um, so I'm gonna let that mountain chill for a minute. And actually, sort of, what I like to do is take a dry paper towel and kind of like, if you hit it just right, what it'll do is it'll just take off a little bit of the darker and it'll sort of make a little, make it look like a little transition, like you have darker inside, you know, darker appear, but lightens up in the middle again. So, I kinda like to play around with that a little bit. Um, you know, another thing with um, any kind of mountain type thing, if you put just a little extra shadow right next to the whitest way, what that does is that's gonna like kinda punch the white up. And that's always good to do um, in this kind of scenario because I'm trying to sort of create the effect that the snow is really what's glowing on the mountain, which is just the area I'm not painting, really. So I'm kind of coming in with these shadows then, uh, just at the edges of the where I want the white to zinc. And the white starts to sort of have a little extra lift. 
Um, I'm also about to come in and do a little outline in the mountain. This is what I was saying yesterday about this. Uh, this is like kind of one of those things that I'd say some people be liking it, some people will be not liking it. Do what you like. That's what I say. And right now what I'm kind of do, trying to do, is sort of take advantage of the fact that my hand sort of shakes a little bit. And I'm just trying to kind of go slow and let those little shakes get picked up by the line. And I'm mostly just holding to the line I had made earlier. Um, but I'm looking up and making sure my mountain gets some of those little like important things. There's this little kind of like second hill right there. Always with mountains too, I've just noticed this with uh, teaching beginners. People really love to make mountains like super pointy. But you can see that like this one's pretty flat, you know. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a very flat angle, like if this is a straight line, and it's just a little bit different than that, so. Um, uh, but what I'm hoping for, and I think it's, I think I'm, I'm feeling it, is, uh, and if not, you know, it is what it is. The, uh, what I'm hoping for here is uh, just to help out that white right inside the mountain and give it a little more punch because I'm surrounding it with a little dark. So when you put darks next to lights, what happens is those lights tend to do a little extra lift right there. Cool. So that's that's also gonna like dim a little, but as you get in on the, I, I like to get in on the end of these watercolors with some extra deep, you know, just kind of push us in. But I'm just gonna hit that little, little paper towel to kind of like mute it out. Teeny weeny. Boom. I'm gonna just put a little more shadow in these same places. Why I'm gonna do this with the water underneath? It's just little, you know, a little smushy, a little smushy, a little smushy, washy right there. I'm gonna let that chill. Maybe just kind of like pull it into the green and into the water a teeny bit here at the edges of it. You know, water always has a, like broken edges. That's kind of one of the one of the tricks to water is that things aren't reflections are cool, but only. Um, you know, reflections are perfect, only in perfect conditions. So like if there's zero wind, then water's like glass. But most of the time it has at least a little bit of wind, a little bit of ripple. Uh, I'm just gonna put dark in here now anyway. I'm gonna put a little dark down in this corner. I just totally changed my mind on the fly. Uh, I'm gonna put some dark in on this corner. I'm gonna add a little water to my brush. And I'm just gonna kinda like wet it and pull it in a little bit there. Not a whole lot, just some little bit. And that flavor will continue to sort of bleed. And the same thing on this side. Just a little extra here, and that will continue to bleed in to, into this area. And I wanna try to put enough water that it's just gonna make it. You know, it's not gonna be a weird extra dark edge. Ooh, I like it. So I'm gonna pull a few little bits of it across too, just to kind of, like I was saying with that, um, you wanna have that left to right feeling with water always. That's, that's sort of one of the things that makes it, makes it work. So I'm gonna try and kind of like not have these little marky marks here if I can avoid it. Um, but I might just be stuck with them, so. Happy accidente, a numero like a million. But look at that, it's really pretty. You see how that ultramarine glow is sort of like creeping into the corners and making it look extra sort of mm, delicious. So I'll even put a little bit up here. I'm gonna tape this out in a minute um, as well. I'm gonna tape this out in a minute as well so that um, you know, we, we want to start putting branches in, they're all going to kind of come in cleanly off the corners. Uh, it's going to be kind of weird, I think. I like it. Uh, 
And, uh, you know, you can see where this thing is, is kind of bleeding to. And I, I, I mean, I kind of like that, to be honest with you. I think I'm gonna get a little paper towel and try and like kind of pull a little light back out of it here just as easy as I can. Um, a lot of time, like I noticed the Yarkas are really great about that. You can pull Yarka stuff just off to like white paper. Um, you can see here, it's not, you can see it a little bit, but it's not like super duper. But that's fine for now. I just want to kind of like pull a few, pull a few uh, textural marks through there and kind of combine the edges a little bit so they're not quite so like, you know, edgy. Boy, that's pretty though, I like. Ooh, that is pretty. Yeah, the, the taping and the, um, branches that are up closer, the like perspective branches. So a lot of what I'm doing now is I'm leaving a lot of extra spaces in there, you know? So I'm just kind of having fun too. And I'm like back and forth and a little, hey, 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 hey. you know, and I, I seriously do make those noises in my head when I do that because it's just, it kind of helps me make the right shapes. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know? So um, having fun is a big part of painting and maybe everything. So, uh, I mean, at least I think being successful at it. If you don't like, if you don't like something, you're obviously not gonna, not gonna do it. So, um, I mean, maybe that's not obvious. Maybe some people are better than I am, I guess. But uh, now over here, I'm still gonna leave it mostly light, like I was saying. So I wanna, I do wanna bring dark in at the edges here. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring dark in at the edges. I'm gonna go back to the old water trough a little, and I'm just gonna sort of wiggle in some shapes where I think. Um, I do think that I'm gonna leave a little bit of that dark there, uh, but I want more light. So now I'm just gonna go back and grab the dark and I'm gonna kinda like put it into the, some of those spaces where I was just like kinda wiggling around. So I'm not really reinventing them now, I'm just, I'm just actually, it's almost like wet and wet. I mean, it is wet and wet. But, um, but you know, what I'm trying to do is sort of suggest pockets where like um, it's got deeper trees right there uh, maybe, maybe, maybe a squirrel lives there, or some kind of, um, you know, Bob Ross. Maybe, maybe have a little squirrel. Maybe a little squirrel lives there. Um, ham. That's nice. I like it. And I'm gonna wiggle a nice little, kind of like, this is again the same thing I did earlier that, uh, that was, um, you know, maybe it, this kind of thing, and maybe it's more for me than for anyone else. You know, I'm just like, oh, look, a nice little sort of frisky lost line edge where some of that, ooh, 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 look at those big tree right here. Yeah, maybe a little eagle nest out here. Ooh. And I'm gonna hit the other side up with a little bit of that. Sometimes, like, you just add a couple drops of water here and there along there, and it'll just kind of, like, make it a little, oh, that's a pocket of noise, and so is that, and it's all going to become friends. All of it is one. So, um, a little pocket of noise. And some are singles, you know, just so it's still random, but it's all, it's all conjoined. But it's still random. But it's all conjoined. But it's still random. Do you see what I'm saying? So, in my taste... Some of these are a touch dark. I'm just gonna kind of pull uh, together. And I'm gonna just hit this edge up with some really nice deepness. stage deeper with um, I'm actually just using yellow and green here but uh, I just want I'm sorry yellow and paints gray and I just want something that oh, 
I just want something on this side that's nice and, you know, really holds it down. There we go. So these watercolors, boy, they are great too. These are this Coir, it's like kind of new. I think Golden makes them. Love Golden's stuff in general. But, um, ooh, that's delicious. And um, just a little along the base down here, I think. We're gonna make business, bam. And just for consistency's sake, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like water. I'm just gonna kind of grab it and smush it around a little bit. Water, smush, yes, beauty. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry for a minute and then we're gonna come back and do the uh, perspective branches. All right, hey man, we gotta push through this thing. So I'm about to drop in all these little branchy branches, little trees on the, some little, little greenery down across the bottom of the mountain. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna grab some of that deep, deep, deep green. Uh, this was yellow and black still. I'm just gonna keep rolling with it. Uh, this brush is like does a good job of doing these fine lines, but I gotta be so good, you know, that I feel like I'm gonna get a smaller brush because it'll be less challenging. Like this one. So here's what I'm gonna do then. Uh, this is like kind of the move I like. I like to kind of drag it, and while I drag it, I'm gonna sort of just like kind of twist it in my fingers like this. Uh, and that'll help me to kind of like pull some weirdness into it. So here we go. Um, what I really want to do is I sort of want to pull them across. I always like to sort of like measure it out a little bit. Like basically, I just sort of want them to kind of end in this kind of area. So I'm going to start here. Here we go. I don't know actually about that color. Um, I'm going to add more black to it and maybe just a wee bit of brown. A wee bit of brown. What color is that? It's like, ooh, it's dark. There we go. Yes. And you see how we do that? Okay. I might even just sort of paint these. Why not? All right. My taping. Yes. So yeah, a lot of time, you know, while you're thinking about branches, you want to just kind of keep things random. Let let nature, you know, uh, let branches touch. A lot of my marks right now are kind of like up on the canvas and then back off the canvas. Uh, and I'm gonna just roll with it, to be honest with you. I am not gonna like get all nutty right now. But sometimes that's what happens. And uh, the sooner I make like you know, 50 branches, the sooner the bad ones don't look bad anymore, is the way I look at it. Well, that's what I'm looking at right now. Uh, but anyway, I'm kind of making sure to stop them all somewhere near this line so that I really just don't get the focus too far away from, uh, too far away from what's going on there. I'm gonna just kind of fatty up a few of the little trunk bits here. And uh, I've seen people go really crazy, you know, on some of these YouTube tutorials where they're a zillion, billion branches. Another cool thing you can do um, is with the knife. You know, if you uh, if this is really wet, you can take the knife and or a razor blade and like pull little twigs out of these uh, branches. But um, I don't think I'm gonna get razor blade with it today just because of absolutely no reason um so 
of thing. And then I like to put a few little uh, leafy, a few little leafy bits in there, you know. So I just I'll grab a little green, and maybe like some of these get little bits that just are something weird here and something weird here. Oh, that green was still wet. So yeah, so you see what happened. This green was wet. I pulled that branch through there, and it kind of just started to spread out. So I'm just gonna leave that alone. I'll probably crispy it up again in a little bit before uh, I you know, finish, call it like done done, but I'm gonna let it dry so that by the time I get to it, it is not um, doing what it's doing now. Not doing what it's doing now, if you know what I mean. So then I'm gonna just put a little babies, the ooh yes, you and you and here's you. And then there's like kind of a longer one, that, ooh, what are you doing, yep, you. And then uh, I'm going to put a couple more branches up here. And I'm going to give them a few more of those little leafy bits. So little leafy bits. A couple little leafy bits, little twigs coming off. I don't even know what these are. They're just irregular things. What's neat about nature, I think, one of the neatest things is that our mind is magical. So all that, like, extra space gets solved by our minds, by our magical, magical minds. So a lot of these then, at the end, I just want little indications. Um, alrighty, so that's good with that. I'm gonna start putting in this, this canopy of, of branches that's above now. Um, they are, uh, it's more like sort of pine needles that are kind of like bunching in from above. Uh, this is gonna feel wrong, I already know it, but uh, I'm gonna forge through it anyway. So I'm going to try for that dark green again, but I keep getting back into this brown and black and other green anyway. So I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to stay with dark green, but I'm going to start with it. All right. And there will be some branches, but there will also just be like a lot of bunch of clusters of, um, of, uh, of, um, branches too. So I'm trying to kind of think about um, bells almost, like like one branch is going to look sort of like that and um, you know connect with some other shit and then just keep kind of like growing up and up and out. So um, there is a bunch up here, and it's interesting, right? Like you spend so much time on those skies just to kind of kind of put paint over top of them, <laughs> but that is what it is, you know. So um, is this so green? I can't quite tell. Yeah, I guess so. Um, so yeah, I spend all that time kind of doing that, and I'm. You really can't fake like like nice clouds peeking out behind this, you know. So it's important that you do spend that little bit of time to kind of like make it seem like it's working. Um, but at the same time, sometimes it's hard to like kind of paint over it. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm sort of just trying to like have these like pine needly feelings, it's kind of trickling in over top, and they they like to overlap. And a lot of time when you see it, I, like I was saying, the shape itself is hard to understand. You know, it's just like. It's, it's like fur that mostly points that way or something. I don't even quite know how to explain it sometimes, but a lot of what, what I like to do is just is just keep going and kind of keep looking at it and almost turn my brain off, you know, like be like I'm talking on the phone or something and uh, just try and kind of look at what's going on and just, you know, sometimes I've noticed people want to be in a hurry and be like, ah, oh, it just takes, you know, I want something simple that'll be everywhere, but it just doesn't really work that way. You gotta. You gotta kind of keep looking and keep paying attention to all those little interesting bits, and that's that's in a way part of the fun, I think. Um, if you let it be. So. So I'm like playing the game over here that I do not ever think you should play, which is I'm out of paint, 
but I keep, um, I'm out of paint, but I keep, like, mixing a little more and a little more and a little more and a little more. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of make some here um, that I think is probably pretty cool. Yeah. And um, I like that little bit of brown in it, so I'm going to keep that in there. Um, it just adds a little bit of like earthiness or something to it. I can't, I can't quite define it. But yep, keep going with my branches. Gonna just let a few, you know, sideways branches don't look like what I think they would or something like that. So up here we actually have a, a few sticks. So I'm gonna sort of try and carve those in. Just a few little uh, 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 branch on this guy. And I'm not even gonna connect it. I'm gonna be magical right there. Just well, it's like <laughs> Another branch trickles in. Dang, Beck's awesome. So, yep, same thing, just plugging along. I went ahead and made a little more of this color, so hopefully I got enough rocking over here. Um, I'm always trying to tell people, too, in class that, like, a lot of time what you see when you look at a bunch of trees is like you, you don't actually see it every little bit that connects, right? Because, uh, how could you? Um, so even these little things like right here, I'm not gonna connect that. Here, I'm not gonna connect that. And that's okay, our mind totally loves putting stuff together. That's what our mind does. Our mind just makes things like, uh, our mind, it's like with storytelling or anything. We love to sort of like weave stuff like that, I think. It's my theory. What do I know that for real? Same thing, I'm just gonna kind of finish up this corner with a little bit more of the old uh, dibbly dibbly. Wacky man, I like it though. I, um,. I'm definitely gonna do a little picture of the photo I found this from. And, uh. So yeah, I guess you get a little bit of a listen to me saying too, sorry about that. But uh, alright, here we go, I'm just adding a little extra darkness into some of these that weren't quite as flavorful here, and I'm gonna let that simmer out for a second. And um, in a minute here, I'm gonna come in, probably flip this thing upside down. I'm gonna add a little more yellow or pink right up under the mountain to kind of like push that forward, do the same thing around the water, in the water a little bit. Um, and I mean, in this picture, there is a big, another branch that trickles in over here. And I'm like, do I wanna do that? And I'm like, kind of. So I'm gonna do it. I still got just enough of this green here. I'm gonna make it happen. Hopefully. Um.
Yeah, actually, I'm gonna leave it. I like it. I like the sort of asymmetry going on right now. Um, I think maybe I'll sort of improvise one little branch. I, I just like a few of these that are living right, right around here, I think. And they're just gonna... Something like that. A couple little extra friends that come down in front. There we go. Maybe another little set that just breaks this border there. There we go. All right. So I kind of, um, I kind of uh, made this part up and um, split the difference with myself. I was going back and forth. Boy, I love how our minds solve these problems. Um, so, and you know, this is probably getting a, uh, either getting a trim to about here, or I'm just gonna leave it all squirrely at the edges like that, in which case, F it, right? So, um, so that's pretty sweet. I'm gonna come back at a little bit of those dark blue like ripples across this, up, especially up closer to us, so we feel like we're starting to see that water change. And um, just a little bit more of that pink in a minute. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna hit stop here for a sec uh, and let this dry out. So, one more sesh and then we're donezies. So. So this trick, I am obviously still getting good at learning, but um, but oh, that might work. But I'm having fun doing it. That's for sure. There we go. Perfect. Leave it.
I'm a little too shaky for that move. <laughs> uh, which means I should make another copy, obviously. Anyway, that was fun. I put a bunch of few streaks in there, extra diddly dillies. Um, I think I'm feeling the water right now. We are gonna, I'm gonna flip this upside down and put in a little more behind the mountain just to punch it up. And put in a little more possibly behind the mountain reflection. But I don't feel too bad about it, to be honest. Boy, it looks nice. Maybe I should just stop, actually. So this is the age-old um, to stop and not fuck it up anymore, or to fuck it up more, because you don't know when to stop. Um, but boy, I think this is looking pretty nice right about now, actually. So I'm probably gonna take five and decide what to do. I'm, in person, I'm tempted to put a little more pink behind that, but when I look up at the monitor, I feel like it looks really nice right now, and just, we could be done. All right, so I think... I think I should turn the music down a little bit. Okay, so I think that I am gonna um, do just a baby bit more, but I'm pretty much done. I'm really happy with it. I uh, went in the other room and didn't stare at it for a second. A lot of time that makes me feel a little better about it. I'm gonna get some clean water before I get into that thing. So, um, is this recording? Yeah, cool. Uh, so this is the end. Um, I'm pretty much, so now I've actually flipped it upside down. I think I'm just gonna put a little bit of uh, extra color kind of up around here just to help push that mountain up a teeny, teeny, teeny bit more. Um, but gosh, you know, I really like it, so I really don't want to F with it too much more. And um, what I actually think I'm gonna do is a baby bit of yellow down in there. Um, just to just to live dangerously, I guess. I don't know. Why not? So I'm gonna make a really clean spot over here on my palette, and I'm gonna make just a little bit of the yellow, that super bright yellow. I'm not gonna mix it with anything else because yellow gets super dirty really quickly. Um, super dirty. But uh, but yellow's so pretty, you know. There we are. So I tried to do that without getting like anything of anything else in there. And um, I think we're doing pretty good over her. So I'll probably kind of give a little test. Ooh, that's yellow, baby. So, okay, I'm gonna put just a little bit in right underneath, uh, right in that sort of the, the woo and the woo. And then I'm gonna kind of pull some water in and just kind of float it around there and see what happens. Live dangerously, I guess, right? There we go. Just a little bit of yellow along in here. Just a little bit of yellow along in here. Where do you like it? I already like it. And then, um, here we go. So that's probably enough. So now I'm just gonna take, I'd like rinse out the brush and I'm actually gonna start the water kind of like farther away from it and let it just soak into the paper a little bit. And then as I get like kind of closer to it, it's just gonna explode into all that all that space that I just painted wet. And I'm just gonna kinda really easy going, paint it up into the mountain area. Keep pulling some of that flavor over. I like it. Definitely not a mistake. Same thing here. Just kinda pulling it out towards the top there. It's gonna be interesting, you know, where the, like the edge is. That's kind of the tricky part here. So I want to paint the water further than it's gonna bleed, basically, in a nutshell. Um, probably without really effing up my trees. <laughs> so that's why I was a little hesitant to do this. I it just it's like sometimes too late to to mess with stuff, and it's like good, you know. You got something that's fine, and then you go in and are like, oh, I actually 
wanted to mess with the... And then, did you? Did you? Did I? So, that's pretty alright. Um, I think I'm just going to add some water now, just to really make sure and probably get a clean brush. That little flat bastard. Flat bastard. Um, and then I'm going to just get some cleany weeny water. And I'm going to, you know, like that'll actually kind of like stain an edge. Unless I really give it a ton of water out here and just be like bleed to the edge, dude. Get, get yourself as oranged out as you need to. I mean, who am I talking to? I guess the painting, but why not? Anyway, I really like that glow right now. I'm gonna have to put something in the water, no doubt. Um, so I think I'm gonna put a little more pink in the water and just a wee of orange, you know, just a little of both right now. Dang, that's cute. Pretty. And yeah, see how the mountain sort of gets a little more defined as we do that. Okay, so a little more pink here. I'm just gonna find a little section of my palette where there's nothing really going on. And I think what we need is a little bit of that here. And I uh, like the blue underneath. It's it's already turning a little bit purple. Um, like I said, everything lightens, but I'm gonna add a little more water to it and just kind of like pull those longer shapes into it. Mm. Mm. And then I'm gonna get crazy. Put just a drop or two of yellow in there. It's like magic, it's just it's something, I don't know. The coffee's brewing, it smells so good. I want a little more flavor right there, just to kind of follow that pink in. So I'm gonna just, uh, you know, I'm gonna have to kind of work behind these, sort of, through them. And um, that's great. Now I'm just gonna take some water and kind of pull that, pull that around and spread it into the area. Hopefully I didn't get too much of the brown out, but it's fine. It's fine, one or two. And then I'm gonna put a little drop or two. I'm gonna let that chill for just a sec. But really what I wanna do is just drop a little yellow right into the wet, right into the wet pink there, here and here. And it'll just kind of turn things orange and spread around a little in there. So that'll help us see the, see the reflection a little better. One or two extras up here maybe. That's great. And pull a little of that off just because he's just because, and I think I gotta call it so. You know, um, you want to do a better thing, you know, pin it again. That's what I always say. Pin it again. Pin it again. Actually, I have one more thing. I, I'm actually, I just want to bring a little blue a little bit more out there. I cannot help myself. I can't help myself. I need some darker blue out there. Well, <sighs> Whew, that's pretty. The color's pretty. I just want that to disperse, I'm gonna add some water. Pull it out, pull it out. There we go, great.